everybody, it's Sam from Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this little book of boxes. I've done the book of love and I'll link that up because that was in a Valentine's series that I done last year or the year before and I have quite a few of those kind of um, styles so I'll share all of those but basically you just have this book style and you just undo the ribbon on the side and inside you have all of these boxes and they will open out each side and in there are these and these are the mini Ritter sport chocolates in all different flavors i'll show you those in more detail in a moment um, you've got space here if you want to personalize you can put stuff on the spine you can add a gift tag you could have a message on the back if you wanted to combine it as a card and a gift in one and of course it doesn't have to be for valentine's this can be you know for many occasions really it's really fun and easy to make and i just think it's come together really well so let me show you how to do it so these are the mini ritter sports you get nine in a pack though which is for me it's quite bizarre because obviously I, I work in a lot of even numbers when I'm I guess putting treats into things but I don't like the marzipan anyway and not lots of people like marzipan so I would give them to my sister separately but then you could split them so you have you know four and you could do half of the side of this with just the chocolates and the other half could be like a card and you could have a message in there so if, that way you know you could send two gifts and it works out a pound of, you know a gift so it's, it's really really good value for money so hopefully lots of you can get hold of those um, that's from another set which would be going into here yeah because I've already filled all of these and I've put the glue dots on so that's actually going to be for another project anyway so I've got punches here, you know, you don't need to need them, but I'll show you where I've used them. And I've already done seven of the pockets. So once again, I'm using that pink paper block. It's just so nice, it's worked brilliantly. I knew it would anyway, but it's just worked so well for all of these Valentine's gifts that I'm doing this year. And again, hopefully people are able to pick it up. You do probably have to go into the shop because I've really struggled to find anywhere online. Okay, so for the main card, I guess, or the book style part, this is a piece of 10 by five. And along the 10 inch side, you just want to score at four and a half and five and a half. Okay, just bring that down a little bit. And then just fold and burnish. And I've just rounded off the edges. I'm gonna have the pattern on the outside. You're not actually gonna see a lot of it because I'm gonna be putting mats and layers on it. And then I want the plane on the inside because all of the little pockets or the envelopes have pattern on, so they look quite nice against the plane. For the mats and layers, because I'm gonna be putting mats and layers on the front and back to add strength, and so I've got somewhere to tuck the ribbon underneath. So you'll want two pieces that are four and a quarter by five, uh, by four and three quarters. And then this is my layer on top, which is four by four and a half. And this is the same paper from the pad. And then I've just used this Craftwork Cards embroidery embossing folder. And you can see I've got that really nice detail. And because this is a white core, some of the white is actually cracked through, which I like, it looks, it looks nice. But that's the reverse side there as well. So if you wanna emboss it for a bit more texture, but what's gonna happen is I'm gonna stick that one onto there and then using foam pads on here, I'm going to pop it on there and then I'm going to feed the ribbon underneath. Okay, so you can go and choose the ribbon colours and things that you want. And then depending on whether you want to do half the chocolates, like I mentioned at the beginning, you'll either want four or eight pieces that are four and a quarter by five and a quarter. Along the five and a quarter side, you want to score at half an inch, two and a half, three inches and five and then along the four and a quarter you want to score at half an inch two and a half and three if i bring it up there you can see all the score lines okay so that, first of all just fold and burnish the score lines and what i would do is do all of them so go and fold and burnish all of the boxes and then when you cut them cut all of them and then when you stick them down stick them all down so you're working kind of rather than just do one from start to finish and then start the next one if you do them in like a batch it does end up being a lot quicker okay so we need to do a little bit of cutting in fact i'm going to use my other scissors so you want it so that you've got the quarter inch tab on the right hand side and you should have a half inch tab on the bottom you're going to cut up all of those score lines just to the first score line and then this you'll have like a little rectangle in the corner here just remove that completely like so and then if you just take little wedges off of the corners here 
Okay, then come around now onto this quarter inch side and you'll have two more score lines here. Just cut up both of those and then actually you're just going to now cut down that whole section there. So you're going to remove all of that. Okay. Then come to this side, so you've got the half, it's still the short side, but it's the end now with a half inch. And you want to cut, so you've got the half inch section on the bottom, then you've got this half inch section here. You want to cut everything away up to this bit here. So I just, so you're cutting away this top piece. Make sure you keep that half inch so it looks the same as the bottom, okay? but you want to remove the half inch on the side there and the half inch on the side here. Once you start making one, then it will make sense. Okay, so you can see what I've removed. You just want to keep this piece here up from the side tab there. And then also if you just cut down that one, that one, and that one. And again, just take a little wedge off of the corners. But this is now going to become the front of the box and this is the flap that's going to come over on the, from the back. Now with this piece here you can do it when it's all together but what I've been doing is just flip it over and just with a pencil so it would be two inches wide it's just on the reverse side put a little marker at one inch okay so a little pencil mark there and then you're going to cut from that marker down to the top of this score line here but to the you know obviously the corner of it so and this is going to form that envelope shape just like so so don't go down into this part you're just going up to that corner there again like so so now this is going to come over and it's going to attach there and that's going to become the back and then we need to remove this one in a second and then that's going to come over so if you just fold that down you can just go in here and just remove that whole middle section like so. Now I'll show you that make more sense like that. They will go in and that will come over and we will pop our little heart on the top. So if I just hold it up like that and you can take a screenshot hopefully that all makes sense for you. What I might do is put a little template on my blog just a little photo of how that should look against the just on white paper because I think it might be a bit easier but hopefully that's been okay for you to all follow so you want to do that like I said four eight you might want to do six and do a little message at the top of one page you know there's lots of ways to do this so I'm also just going to take a little bit off of the corner there then with my glue I'm just going to add some to the tab and then if you just fold that over and then fold that tab over it will line up perfectly and just let that dry okay and then those sides remember are going to go in and that's going to come over here so this is the front so this bottom tab you want to stick down last so I'm going to bring the back one up and I'm going to pop my glue on the back here and then I'm going to just fold in both sides again my glue onto those and then just bring that one down. Now you can pop the chocolate in there if you want and push down on it but I've just been using my bone folder there just to go in and just make sure that's all secure like so. Then I've got my little chocolate here and it will fit in perfectly and like I said you could put all sorts in these you don't have to have these chocolates and then I've been using the glue dot to fasten it because if you want to add velcro or a magnet if you want these to be something that people could use if you are going down the friend mail happy mail kind of route then you might want to do so but I've just popped a little bit of glue there and then just with these glue dots I just popped one on the back and then close it up and you can push down on the chocolate there so you can really make sure that's secure but there's your little pocket or little envelope so now I have all of those so like I said I've got my eight and they've all got the chocolates inside I might put some glitter on the hearts or maybe some glossy accents as well so you might see that 
they're all ready to go into our little book. So I'm going to just stick these on top of here. Now I just went and rounded off the outer corners and then just one side because that's going to stick like that so I just rounded off you know the side there. Okay and I ended up I was going to use that but I didn't so you don't need the circle one so I'm just going to grab my I'm going to use the clow now for all of this because I want this to become really nice and strong so I'm just going to stick both of these layers down. Okay, so now I'm going to add my ribbon, so I'm not going to need all of that at all, so let's do half of that. So you want two pieces really that roughly around 12 inches, you might not even need as long as that. And I'm going to stick, I'm going to use this glue, depending on where you want your ribbon, because you may want to put yours in a slightly different place, but I'm going to have it in the middle, just underneath, like so. So I'm just going to use this glue here, just a little bit on the back, go in a little bit further actually, and I'm just going to sit that on there, and then I'm going to go over it with some foam tape, so that will really stop it moving. So now I can pop my foam on the back of this piece here, and I'm going to stick this piece, so that will really stop that ribbon moving, and that glue will also just dry nicely and then you've just got a little bit of dimension there as well. So I'm just going to repeat that on this side with this piece and the other bit of ribbon. And just fold it over when you add that ribbon to make sure they line up. See now these those line up perfectly together. Okay so now we have our little book. I'm playing around with the placement so I'm going to have it I think like that. And you want to have two this side so they open obviously out that way and then those open out that way so people can get the chocolates out. Otherwise you might want to, like I've done with the Book of Love, I put Velcro dots on the bo bottom and attach them. And that way you can have them all facing up this way and they can just pull them off. But that's more if they're actually going to keep it. I'm very much, if you've been following me for a long time, this is to be enjoyed and then you know, throw it away. It really, <laughs> it's just a piece of paper, it's fine, and it's the joy of being able to make more in the future. So I'm going to keep mine, try and get them nice and equally spaced. And I worked out the measurement in the middle there is one inch, which is two of these side by side, so they will close nicely. But I think that's going to work, and I think that looks quite nice. So again, I'm going to use the Kalau glue, and I'm just going to pop that on the back. and it gives you that wiggle time. So you can lay them all down and I'll still have time to be able to move these if I need to. But I can just push that down quite easily because I've already put the chocolate in. Okay, so those are now all stuck down. They look really good, I love this. And then it all folds up really nice. You can see they all pretty much line up there. I'm not gonna move them around too much more, but I'm gonna just tie this off. You can put little charms on here, you can put a gift tag on here, you know, there's so much more. I'm going to keep mine quite simple because I'm filling up a bag with lots of kind of treats really for Valentine's. So I've ended up taking a couple more inches off of each end, so probably 10 will actually be enough, but something like that anyway. You see it looks quite nice. And then I'm finishing it off with a really simple topper, and this is actually one of the ones that I've got left over from the decoupage pad from Paper Posies. Um, and it was a Dovecraft one from about a year ago now, I think. So I've just got some foam on the back there and I'm just gonna pop that in the middle. And I think that says it all. I think it looks really, really cute. That is my little book of boxes. <laughs> the other one was called Book of Love, Box of Love. Book of Love? And then they're all ready to open. Like I said, I've got glue dots on mine, so I won't be opening them now. They're all sealed in, ready to be enjoyed. I'll probably add a bit of glitter to the hearts, like I said, Nouveau drops, but you'll see that in the photos. And then if you do want to have a message, like I said, you might want to put a little gift tag just hanging off of this side piece here, but you have all that space on the back. So if you do want to turn this into like a card and a gift in one, and I have a lot of those kind of two in one on my channel, I'll put a little playlist up actually 
Um, but there's no reason why you can put, you know, rather than emboss that, just leave the white mat layer and you can write a little message on the back. You might also want to personalise the spine. Like I said, I'm keeping them just like this, but I think they will make lovely when we can and we start to socialise and have parties and stuff, but they'd look really nice as maybe table favours for your bridesmaids. I think they'd be lovely. Anyway, that's everything done from me today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll be back again very soon with some more fun tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.